Hey guys, it's Hank with Roto City Tech. We experienced a little problem with our camper, and I'm going to show you how I fixed it because um, I didn't get much help from manufacturers. But anyways, the problem was the power to the charger that would charge your battery was not working. So I could never charge my battery when I was plugged into sure power. So my uh, power converter was not switching from AC to DC. So, so over here is where your control center is for your fuses and your circuit breakers and whatnot. And one of the problems I know I had was these two orange fuses here, these two 40s, they go to your um, the reverse polarity and the uh, the backup fuse. And when you hook up your battery, because I know when we went camping, when we jumped the battery because it was dead, they accidentally hooked it up backwards and because it was dark and there was no light or whatever. So that reverse polarity fuse will protect it. If that happens, it'll get that electricity, it'll blow that fuse and it won't blow anything else. Um, I don't know if we got a defective power converter or what, but even replacing these two fuses, I couldn't get anything to fix. I couldn't get... The power was stopping somewhere. I know, I, after testing it, I knew I had power to this whole system. But there was no power leaving the system, and so my battery was constantly just going dead. So when you're plugged into sure power, you should be getting like 13 and a half volts to your battery. Wasn't getting it. So, come back here. This just has two screws, one on each side. And this whole thing will come off. And then, down here is your power converter. And so, you take off these two screws. Now I am not plugged in and my batteries are disconnected. So this is your power converter and the problem I was having was this is your power wire going back up here back into your system. So there was nothing, there was power coming into this from this side but then nothing getting to this side to actually convert it to DC power where AC is your normal house power and so when you're out boondocking or something you're not going to have your whatever battery power you have is all that you're going to have and when you're able to plug in at a campsite you're not going to be able to recharge your battery so that was going to cause a problem so what ended up happening is you'll notice these two are capacitors now this is one i replaced the top had busted open and i have it actually over here so you'll see the top there had busted open now that's supposedly a sign that it went bad but I know the real issue was if you look right down here this fuse that says slow blow right here that fuse was no good and how I knew that was it also says if you look real closely it says F1 on the board it may be hard on the camera but since it says F1 that's going to tell you that that's a fuse so what I did was just got my meter went and searched put it on ohm this is how you test any fuse and if you get a sound that tells you that you've got connection all the way through the fuse you've got uh, and this one here this fuse is the one that was bad so obviously nothing so whatever power was going from the AC side to the DC side was stopping right here with that fuse because if you touch these two you get that so what I had to do which I'm not gonna get in I'm not gonna take this board out again but there's just a few screws on this board all I did was I took it out and then I was able to flip 
this board over to the back side and I got a soldering iron and I just heated up the solder joints and pulled out the old stuff put the new one in and s soldered them back in and then put it all back together and everything works so if you ever come across this where you're not getting your battery charged when you're plugged in be sure to take a look at this system and a little bit of simple testing and I was able to save like 120 bucks I think a new one was gonna be 120 I couldn't get anybody to work on it through the dealer or through the manufacturer and I was gonna have to take my whole camper up there to get it worked on for just this little piece so I kinda said forget that and I'm gonna find a, how to fix it my own way so anyways it's pretty easy to do and uh, I would encourage anyone to give it a shot if they need to work on their own camper. So thanks for watching.